All right, so we're just gonna pull it down like this until you get it about to the right length. Uh, and remember, I'm not doing this to any type of scale. I'm just sort of doing it out of my head, so. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna have to go into the bottom here. Right click and do a inner extrude, bring it in about that far. Uh, right click again and uh, we'll do another extrude up. I like that. It's pretty good. Now, um, uh, you know what, I wanna bring that up a little bit further. That's good. Now most, uh, most markers have those little, um, little things that stick out inside the cap. So we're going to make those right now. Go into polygon mode. I'm just going to go in here and do a selection every three polygons. As quick as I can. Or pardon me, every two polygons. There might be a lot of these little thingies, but whatever. Doesn't need to be perfect. Alright, now that I have those selected, just right click, do an extrude. You want to pull them in. I don't know, that's probably good. I'm just going a little bit further. That's good. And then, uh, so yeah, there's your little things on the bottom. Um, let me just subdivide this and see how it comes out so we'll, we'll know how to uh, divide this up. And it's pretty good, but I think we want to uh, fix this up a little bit. And down in there a little bit. So, let's start with, uh, click on this. And we'll do a, we'll just do ring cuts to cut this up a little bit. Come in as close as you can here on this mesh, and uh, you just want to start cutting it up along the edges. And I found, I mean, I'm not like really great at modeling or anything, but I found that uh, these ring cuts really do make a big difference for when um, for when you subdivide. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this really quickly. Um, You can go in here and here. And we just want to get some along the bottom here to keep our hold our shape a little bit better. We just uh, pan down. Alright, that's pretty good. Now what we want to do is we're going to have to subdivide these little things so they hold their shape a little bit better, so go around and do each of these very quickly. I'm just doing them. Alright, that's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Because I don't want to be doing this all day. So, uh, just drag your subdivision modifier back on, and that looks much better. We'll see that this under here looks pretty good. It held its shape much better. Um, we might want to go in and toggle some creases on and off, and I'm going to have to do that. It's like uh, down in here, I'm going to want to toggle that crease. So. Just go into this, uh, go into edge mode here, click off to deselect all those edges. We need to go down in here to toggle this crease. So just do a loop select, select that edge, right click, go to selection, toggle crease, and you'll see it'll turn uh, blue. It might be a little hard to see, but when we subdivide, it looks much cleaner, like a different edge. So that is a quick tutorial on uh, how to model a marker in Cheetah 3D. Kind of a pointless tutorial, but it shows you how to do some things. Um, thanks for watching.